Bienvenue, my beautiful bubbles. Today, I am so excited and also kind of nervous as well. I'm doing makeup for the first time, even though my makeup routine is pretty much a drag routine as it is. So the most challenging part today is going to be the brows. And I debated whether or not to actually do my face first or my eyes. And I love doing my eyes first and then, then going into the face. And there's no right or wrong here. And by the way, get get a drink, get a snack. This is going to be at least a 20 minute video. So let's just dig right in. Um, so after some debate, I want to cover this beard. I want to get rid of it first and then the eyes. Because if, if you really think about it, highlights and lashes really add something to the face. So I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand. And I'm actually gonna make my own beard cover. I tried this off camera. And you know what, I think it'll actually work. It's a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna scrape that orange shade in the James Charles palette. I'm gouging it, as you can see, but it works. So, and I definitely need a little bit of a darker orange because this, you could wear one layer of foundation is not enough. I wear probably three layers of foundation just to cover it. So I'm just, I'm kind of testing it out and seeing if this method will actually work with using less coverage. So I'm just gonna pick it up with a brush, so it's on the brush, and tap it into the concealer. Um, yeah, I'm scared about this because like, whenever I see drag queens do it, it always works out perfect somehow. Like, I'm gonna mix that up, see it's orange, it does work, but it doesn't, it's such high coverage that the pigment really doesn't show up underneath it as well as I'd like. I don't really want a bright orange either. So I'm just gonna put that in the areas that I need. And I forgot primer. Great. Okay, so we're just gonna add that in the areas where I didn't add that. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna use the Angel Veil. I'm just gonna add that in the areas where I didn't add that corrector. It's going great so far. Anyway, I'm just so excited. And I'm gonna use a lot, and this is very, very blurring, it's very, very smoothing, and it melts into the skin, like literally. So we move on to beard correction. <laughs> okay. mix a little bit more all over right. I'm gonna take a little triangle and just pat it in I'm just gonna set that up with my Marcel, this is a Canadian brand, and I recommend getting this. It lasts about a year, about a year and a half. So I'm just gonna set that very lightly because more foundation is going on top. And maybe one more, we'll see. And just so the colors don't blend, which I kind of highly doubt it won't. This is Tarte Shape Tape, so it's like concrete on your face. Okay, so I'm gonna mix the two Urban uh, Dream Urban covers. I love this stuff, I love the smell. A little bit on the runnier side and medium coverage. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that medium tone there. Ooh, sliding all over my hands. And just a little dollop of the lighter shade. And I generally have to go a little bit darker with my foundation anyway, because my contour shade is ridiculous. <laughs> So if I'm lighter on the skin, I notice I just, it just does not work. So let's get rid of this, pounce it out. I'm gonna leave the top half of my face. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna wait because the brows are a big thing. So I'm pretty much doing my face like Trixie Mattel, doing the bottom half first and then work my way up. So I'll just go to about there. Mm, maybe. Guys, I'm so excited and I worked a couple hours on my drag wig too. My first drag wig. I'm so excited. 
And don't forget to blend it all the way down. And don't forget your ears. Debating whether to go with white in the inner corner or white all over. It is a drag look, so. Okay, so I will do half natural, half really, really bright eye. I'm gonna leave the inner corner blank for the white. This is a really, really good trick for just Instagram makeup in general. Actually, I'm gonna bring it all the way there. And I like to do my highlighting first because, yeah. I like to set it there for like six minutes while I blend all the, the dark shades first. I'm actually gonna bring it into the inner corner. I didn't, I didn't think I want to, but now I do. And it's a drag look, so I'm gonna bring it down even further. And a little bit up. So I'm already a drag queen. <laughs> so I'm going to take this as for a, a, what is it called? Make no mistake. Uh, foundation and concealer so I love it you can use it for for anything that you want it's kind of like that all-purpose makeup stick so for this drag look I do want to go a little bit in a C shape but and for most of my looks I like to keep it to uh, to the temple I want to curve my cheek and kind of lift it up and create more of a feminine cheek so I'm gonna take uh, a dense uh, this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And what I like to do first is just pat it. I don't want to start rubbing just yet. And you see how it goes a little bit lower? So that's why I drew, drew it on a little bit higher. And then I drag it up. Back and forth and up. But as long as you do that dabbing motion first, you're not going to have a problem. But I've done the swiping first, does not work. Okay. I'm gonna blend this out first. See how that just stayed put? Right. So now I actually like to cut the contour with a medium shade, the Fit Me Concealer. And I just like to cut it underneath. Just one little line. Now generally, oh, I'm gonna let that sit there for a moment. I'm going to take ebony. So that dark shade was ebony on my dark, my contour. I just cut off this jaw. Now you can go up here. It just looks like a bump to me, but you can go up here and cut your chin. Actually, I'm gonna do that today and let's have a little fun. Just a little bit. It's gonna look crazy, but trust the process. Okay. And I like to contour the neck with whatever's on the brush. So I just go down, contour the neck as well. Really chisel that out. You could even put it in your degletage if you want. So we're gonna add more foundation. Now we're going to take our concealer and cut where just one little line. We're adding light back into that area so it's like a, so that it actually is there because we added the shadow. Now we're adding the light. And this is just in the medium shade of Fit Me Concealer. I like to take a triangle sponge and it, it just is a perfect straight line that fits that edge. Next, we're gonna take our light concealer and yes, we're adding a little bit more. And we're strategically placing this rather than all over the eye. I want it lifted just in the inner corner, right where my bags have been really, really bad lately. Right in the inner corner. With this one, you don't need to set it. It, it, it pretty much is like full coverage. So you can just blend it out right away. Much like the Age Rewind. Age Rewind is so good. Like, for drugstore Woo. so we're gonna take our beauty blender and just well this is from the dollar store so anything works 
blender out. So now we're going to bake the house down. What? How do you bake a house down? Anyway. So for baking, I like to, first off, okay, there we go. So for baking, I like to add a light layer first. I find if I go straight in with my baking powder, it just, it just doesn't work. So I like to set it with my translucent powder first. The Essence the Brighten Up powder is a good alternative and it's literally like $6. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender because this will scoop up a lot more powder. I didn't contour my nose. Okay, so I'm going to have to contour my nose after. Oh my gosh. And you can even, I've seen drag queens do this. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> like literally all day today, I was, that's all I was watching is a drag queen tutorial. I'm going to bake the middle of the nose. I'm going to bake the middle of my throat. <laughs> Esophagus. Anyway. Okay. Now we can move on to brows. Mm -hmm. What was that? <laughs> right, so here is the big moment. Um, purple glue, and we're getting rid of these brows. I'm so excited. Okay, generally dry queens like to lick their glue stick, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna add a little setting spray on there. And then you're just gonna warm it up on a paper towel or something. Okay, that seems to be warmed up. And generally what you want to do from all the videos I've seen um, is just go like this. Okay, nothing's coming off. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, remember that like zigzag brow? I could totally do like a wicked zigzag brow. I'll bring it back. I'm gonna smooth it up. I was expecting, but it's not as creamy as watching videos. Oh, wait, one brush. Ah, one minute. Oh. Okay, and do a ro- oh my god. And do like a rotating motion as you do it, I guess. I'm struggle. this one's a struggle bus right now. Oh. One more layer. Roll it up again. Now while that one's drying, we're gonna do it properly on this side. Okay. Most tutorials say 99 points, 99% alcohol, but um, your setting spray has alcohol in it. So, and I really don't wanna dry out my skin any more than it is right now. It's just, my skin does not like me right now. So I'm just gonna clean that off. Yeah, see, there was already foundation on there somehow. Good idea to not skip this step because you won't be struggle bus. Ah, it matches. Okay. My, my brows both have one little, like, longer hair on top. Oh my gosh. And I've seen Pearl do this. Now we're just gonna take your hand and just really just press everything down. I feel like that's working better than the spoolie. This is the two times stronger, by the way, so I don't know if that's what most dragoons are using. It's like a little glob right there. Uh we're gonna move on. We're gonna take that brightening powder, the Essence of Brighten Up, and you want to powder it down. You really wanna, all dry cleans are like so, oh wait. Yeah, 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 powder, then concealer. I've seen so many videos, it's like, I haven't decided how I want to do it, but I know I wanna set it with powder first, so the concealer can catch onto all those hairs. 
And this is where all your mistakes would show with the glue if it wasn't combed through fast enough. I don't know, I think I might switch up the glue because it, that um, formula is a little bit different on this one. So I'm gonna have to shop around and see because it dried so quickly, there's hardly any work time. Actually, I'm gonna need the fullest coverage possible. So I am going to layer this on top. And, and also, I'm gonna stripe it. What do I wanna do here? Well, this is full coverage, so, and then I'll layer the white one on top. I want this one to give me most coverage. So it also will color correct the color of your brows without being orange. So I actually kind of like that. And it's working. Really want to push it into those hairs. Yeah, that's not working for me. So we're gonna take Driftwood. Oh, that's Sephora Make No Mistake Concealer. I think we're kind of getting there. Oh my gosh, it's me with no brows. Ah. <laughs> <gasps> I'm an alien, alien. Okay, I'm gonna I layer on one more powder. Just to really set that. Oh. I feel like I have to wash it off and start again. But we're just gonna move on and I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Brow Stylish Stylist in the Deep Brunette. Oh, okay, let's just start off with these brows. So I want it to be... So I'm just going to remove the excess powder from the forehead so I can really sculpt these brows. So I want a nice arch. move on to the other brow. I like that one better, but we can fix it up. So I'm just going to raise this arch a little bit. Okay, for underneath, I'm going to just use my NYX uh, eyeshadow base. And let's see if um yeah <laughs> I feel like this one needs a little bit of an ombre so I'm just going to add in that lighter brown towards the front if I can. No, that's not true. Got this, I got this. Ooh, it's like a 90s comma brow. This one's like, if you overplucked an Instagram brow. I'll just even it out. I'm actually kind of happy with those. Like, I just want to move on. I want to move on to color. And so we're going into Your Kidding. The only shade that name that I know by hand. And we're just going to stamp out our new crease. Oh. I'm just gonna like, let's just have fun. Like, like 
I'm going to take that orangey shade that we used for our beard cover and just go right beside it. Next, we're gonna go in for that green shade and just put it right there, right there. Right there, right there. Anyone else remember that song? <laughs> I haven't listened to that one in a while. Okay. So next, we're gonna go into blue. Next, we're gonna go into that purple shade. I really should get my 35B palette because I like that purple a lot better, but you know what, whatever. Sorry, I, I took that black and I'm gonna go underneath all those colors. So because this is full coverage, I'm just going to cut the crease with this very, very carefully, <coughs> heart shaped tape. <coughs> I'm actually going to take this. It's a lot creamier, heavier, and we'll see just how it compares. That's that's the tart shape tape. Hear me trying to be a beauty guru here, but anyway. I'm going to try the eyeshadow base. Uh, yeah, I knew I should have bought a white concealer. I'm gonna make it work. Okay, so we're just gonna stick with the concealer after trying three different products. <laughs> gonna move on to, to the glitter so I'm just gonna pat on the glitter, glitter primer on the lid the glitter is gonna hide everything so I'm gonna take a little bit of that pigment and just press it in Ooh, yeah. No texture in that glitter. Perfect for a drag eye. I'm not liking it now. I used the wrong one. Fantastic. Okay. Maybe try it on top of that pigment. There we go. Let's move on to eyeliner because I want to get these lashes on and see it all done up. Okay, this is the moment where I won't breathe and I haven't done this on camera in a long time, but let's just try those out. Okay, no one breathe. Okay, just hold your breath.
So before I move on to lashes, I just retouched up my glitter, tried to make the wings match. They match, but I look like this. Do you agree? I feel like that's not gonna matter once I put the lashes on and everything, but my brows are really kind of bugging me now because I feel like I have two brows. So it wasn't exactly the best idea to use black at the bottom. I'm just gonna darken up my brows is my main point. So I'm gonna go in with that brown shade, just a little dab in there. gonna take um I can't find my liquid eyeliner right now but this might actually work a little bit better I'm gonna do the little hairs like Aquaria does I love those never mind okay I found it <laughs> I will move on to lashes. I'm going to use the Viral Mascara, the Sky High Mascara, and I actually curled my, ooh, yeah, I'll fix that. <laughs> it actually like curled my lashes for a bunch, so it's gonna give a nice curl. <laughs> and you wanna swirl in your mascara. Don't pump your mascara. There's a lot of great tips today. So these are three pairs of Ardell Wispies, and then I also have, which I don't, don't normally like Ardell, but for a drag lash, yes please, you just stack them up in a little bush. <laughs> That's what I call it when it's like that. And then I have the foaming lashes, Ardell foaming lashes, I do believe. Actually, I don't even remember. <laughs> We're gonna take our lash glue, and I put always way, put way too much on, but because they're new lashes, I can do that. I just slather it on. And now I generally wait about two minutes. So I did it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so I decided to put some glitter all over. I did like the silver glitter just on its own. And I have officially named this look. It is an expression of my aura. So you got the rainbow up top expressing my diversity. And then the the silver, uh, representing my aura. I have a silver aura. I looked at my aura before. I like to place it in the center. Ooh, mm. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of eyeliner on there. There. All right, so I'm down to five brushes and we're just gonna speed through this look. Um, we're gonna do a rainbow under eye with um, a really open like white eyeliner to really emphasize these wide eyes. These aren't drag lashes, but you know, I stacked like five and I thought that'd be enough, but uh, let's just get rid of this bake. It's been baking for how long is, uh -huh. I really don't know <laughs> like how long I've been doing makeup, but like let's just kick this off. All right, so let's get some foundation on this forehead. Let's just contour this forehead, really bring this out.
And I'm gonna go lower than I usually do and a lot heavier. Now we're just going to use this brush and stipple it in. Now we're gonna set it. <laughs> the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. It just smells like sandalwood, coconut. Well, they say it smells like a resort, but I've never been on a resort, so. Okay, we're just gonna reinforce all the contouring that we did. And what I do is I'm very precise with it. I go, I just wiggle back and forth, wiggle and back. Go big or go home. I am using the James Charles palette. Just going to a bunch of pinks. So I am very precise with it. I will keep up on top of the bronzer and sweep. Keep it towards the temple and sweep. With a darker shade, let's just overdraw a little bit. I like the shape of my lips. Your drag is up to you, right? But I want to, I do want to go a little overboard. We'll do the purple. Okay, so we're gonna set that and I'm gonna fix up the, the lips with a little bit of concealer later, but that's a boring step. I don't wanna show that right now. But anyways, I'm going straight into highlighter with some setting spray first, sorry. And believe it or not, we're going Maybelline. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. It, it, it is. Oh. Using a little fan brush. And just while it's wet, I usually wait till it dries a little bit. But let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. And just keep layering it on. And for the nose, I'm going to put my signature, well, I guess every Instagram, <laughs> anyone on Instagram has this nose. Put a little bit on the tip. And I love my exclamation point. Now we're just going to finish up the under eyes. And I'll reveal everything together. I'm, I'm actually really excited. So we're just going to take that white eyeliner. And uh, now I'm going to take my favorite color in the shade, the green. And I'm going to look down into a mirror and do the bottom.
So here is the finished look. So two hours of hair, four hours of makeup. I am so proud of this look. Honestly, let me just see it in your lighting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was like, um, tearing up because, holy, who is she? I, okay, I made it happen. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I, I think I did a really good job, and it's all about the brows. Uh, the brows, maybe a little bit too high and a little bit too thin, but I'm not here to, about, to criticize myself because drag is all about fun and expression and this is me a little bit of 80s hair meets like rocker chick like i'm not well, i'm not really a rocker chick but i like the aesthetic but i like how it contrasts to how i am as, as a drag queen and i feel like i'm gonna do this a lot more often maybe not drag tutorials but i want to do like a whole skit on well i've already written out some of the scripts for you guys so so here is the look um yeah i know <laughs> um i already know where i can improve in this so always comment down below and let me know because being constructive about somebody's aesthetic is way more than being like self-deprecating or like you know <laughs> With your comments and that's what i see when you hate somebody it's self-deprecating you're making yourself look bad there's no good that comes from it at all so be constructive i know this hair took me two hours but like all of these ends need to be cut off and i would have this much hair so i wanted big curls <laughs> also i don't have a wig stand to style anything but anyway I really want to have some fun and, you know, try this look out again and do a whole scripted thing. It's, it's who rolls mini drag race. So it's already in the works. I already have the script going. Anyways, au revoir, my beautiful bubbles.